Good morning and welcome to Mystery Monday. And today I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about Ambrose Beers. Um, Ambrose Beers had a very mysterious disappearance like Orion Williamson out of Selma, Alabama. But Ambrose Beers had, was a Civil War soldier who turned writer and was best known for pioneering science fiction short stories. And he actually did an article about Orion Williamson's missing uh, the appearance. This is Ambrose Beers, B-I-E-R-C-E, if you want to look him up. Now, like I said, he was the science fiction of short stories as well as the unbelievable, very cynical, oftentimes, um, sometimes very accurate, um, but he wrote a book called The Devil's Dictionary. He was 71 in 1913 when he decided to pull up his roots to head into Mexico and meet with Boncho Villa. Now, from there, he simply disappeared, leaving behind no shortage of wild speculation and, of course, rumors from an execution by Mexican rebels to a reunion with his uh, otherworldly acquaintances. Now, people can't help but think that Ambrose Beers uh, would be absolutely thrilled with the rumors of his disappearance. Uh, he was notoriously sardonic and cynical. Uh, his work is laden with condemnation of the human nature and its condition. All in all, perhaps a mysterious disappearance could have been something that he would have found very interesting. Um, but just to let you know a little bit about him, he was born June the 24th, 1842. He enlisted in the Union Army Infantry in Indiana. After fighting through and surviving some of the most horrific battles of the Civil War, he was discharged after suffering a severe head wound. Now, that possibly could have been why he was so cynical, because people know that when you have a head wound, it does a lot of trauma to your head, so it could have changed his personality a good bit. These early experiences shaped not only his literary career, but his entire adult life. When he was traveling from Washington, D.C. to Mexico in 1913, he stopped along the way to pay his respects at the Civil War battlefield where he had fought. Now, in the early 1900s, he suffered great personal tragedy, having to bury two of his three children and his wife several months after she filed for divorce. He began speaking of going to Mexico to meet up with the rebels that were tearing the country apart with a civil war so much like the one of his youth. He wanted to recapture that youth, and he wanted to cheat death. He wanted to meet Pancho Villa and ride with him. So he made the arrangements regarding the control and distribution of his estate and assets. He visited his Civil War memories, and he rode into Mexico. One letter came from across the border with the final line, As to me, I leave here tomorrow for an unknown destination. Then nothing. There are no official confirmed reports of him in Mexico. There was no evidence of when he, uh, where he went once he crossed the border. His sole remaining daughter even successfully recruited the United States government to search for him. But to no avail, his disappearance spawned amazingly fantastic theories about what had happened to the aging writer. Now, some theories are run-of-the-mill that his disappearance, you know, he... He made it to the Mexican territory and was killed in the middle of the Civil War fighting. Alternately, there are stories told of the old gringo who joined up the Pancho Villa and was either executed by Pancho or became one of the most trusted advisors. Some people have claimed to see his grave marker, but it's never been confirmed. Another theory is that he simply sent his last letter then committed suicide in such a way to guarantee that he was never discovered. And so if you go online and you go to YouTube, there are lots of documentaries about him. Um, there are a lot of, of all kinds of information that you can find out. A lot of people even think that he was captured and executed in Honduras. Uh, we just don't know. So I really suggest that y'all check it out and uh, see what you can find out about Ambrose Bierce. B-I-E-R-S. -E. want to make sure I had that spelling right. But that's just a little bit more information on him. I hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll catch you next time.